Welcome back everyone to an episode of Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're going to be doing an FF14 video. We're going to be going over the Zodiac's trial. Now, when I first experienced the trial, I was mind blown. First of all, kudos to Square. Very good dungeon. But also, what in the world is happening? When I create guides, I look to create them to make them simple. I'm not a person who likes complicated things. And a lot of guides that I see on things about Final Fantasy are very complicated. And I'm simple. I don't I don't like that. To those of you that are really, really smart and you guys are like, dude, I don't need none of this. Kudos. But to those of you that are like me that are that just like, why does everything have to be so complicated? This is a video for you. If you guys want to see more simplified guides, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe so you're notified for more FF14 content. Also, let me know in the comments below what dungeon or what trial do you guys want to see in a simplified version and for those of you who want to help me pump out more content scroll down to that patreon below not only do you get early access to my videos but you are also helping support the channel i mean along with other goodies too i appreciate any and all support to help keep the channel going let's get into it all right we're gonna go through this whole entire fight and i'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible um, and I'm also going to try to skip it as much as possible. So this boss has a couple of moves. I'm not going to count how many moves because honestly, it doesn't matter. When you see it, you know. I'm just saying you're smart enough. All right. So right off the bat, we get started. We notice that the boss does a move that literally gets everybody to low HP. Don't panic. A lot of bosses have these things. And if you've already made it this far into the, the story, you know that there's bosses that do that. We then see a blue portal appear. That is going to make a cone shaped AOE as what you see right there. And then he also has a purple portal that will appear and that purple portal will make a half map rectangle i was almost struggling on my shapes y'all i'm not gonna lie then he pulls out these little i don't know i know there's a name for them in the game but i don't know what they're called it's a mount though he pulls those out and those will explode into two all right now everybody in this dungeon i am not partied with these are random players i just decided to queue as healer because healers you know important if the healer dies you're probably gonna wipe then he has another one which are the snakes that come up and there are again two rectangles so so far we have the blue portal which has the cone we have the purple portal which has the rectangle we have those two dog looking things which have the aoe's and then we have the snakes which have the rectangles simple then there's this ability that when it comes down you want to stay in there because it's going to hit multiple times use your buffs use your shields whatever you can even as a dps you guys also have you know defensive buffs sometimes so use those when that thing pops down once again the dogs come out then we have the purple portal which means that there is a brick right there is going to be a rectangle shaped thing there i try to jump to help notify players like hey this is the right spot but I, it didn't work all right, then we see Zodiac enter his second phase. There are, there are going to be a couple new moves to his set, but we're going to go through them one by one and we're going to talk about them. All right, so I put a little one on me to let players know, hey, just come around me. You know, um, I didn't type it yet, but eventually I do to just stick around me. The two dogs come up and the map will now rotate. One thing you want to keep in mind, how do you figure out where it's going to rotate to? If you notice, these, these they have arrows, right? These arrows right here, they're going to rotate that way. If you stand on the corner, you'll know where the next one's going to be. So for, for instance, this AOE is on that corner, right? Which means if the map moves, that corner is going to be over there. And then the corner that is down there, you can't see it because I'm blocking it, I'm sure. The corner that is down that way is going to be free of AOE and it's going to rotate into this, right? So it's very, very easy to figure it out if you just look at the corners. Like I said, I like simple stuff. I don't like complicated things. I make everything simple. I look at corners. So then we hop over to that corner. Although we are in the AOE, um, I try to let my team know, like, hey, you know, jump, 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 come over here. But they're scared of the AOE, which is okay, right? I would be scared too when I first started. I didn't know what, the, what was going on. I eventually type, follow me, I will jump. And then everybody starts following me. The problem with this is that if I make a mistake, everybody dies. So <laughs> it makes sure that I am on point with what I'm doing. He has another move which then slams down, you know, two fists. Very easy to dodge, nothing really to talk about there. He drops down AOEs. Once again, you don't really need to know what they're called, whatever. When you see them, move. Pretty simple. Then he starts showing these green lights and they pop up in order. So it pops up the middle first and then it pops up the two on the side. Sometimes it pops the two on the side first and it pops the middle, whatever order. Then one thing to notice is that he leans to the side. That will catch a lot of players off guard. Go to one of the corners so he doesn't push you off. That is the one thing that will wipe an entire party. So make sure you pay attention to that. Whenever he leans, you know, when he's gangster leaning, you want to make sure that you are going to the side so that way you're not getting hit. When he lean, you lean. That look, that's all it is. When he lean, you lean, okay? Once again, we want to pay attention to which corners are not going to be affected when it rotates. So we decide to go this corner. There's a lot of other places on this map where you can be safe, but I want stuff simple. As long as it's effective, I don't care how it works, okay? So we go to this one. 
we're all good. Okay, now this one's kind of important. It's called Astral Eclipse. So I don't like to pay attention to names, but some of them I have to. This one will have stars appear. And a cool thing to know is that if you look at the stars, let's go back a little bit. If you look at the stars that appear right there, look at the platform. Square is giving you hints. Square always gives you hints. You just gotta look for them. There's a dot there, 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 and then there's two more dots kind of like down there. Or three. It's kind of like a dice, right? So, if there's a dot here and a dot there, if we mimic this, that spot over there should be free, right? If there's a dot right here in the middle, that means we should probably leave the middle and go either there or there. And if there's a dot on the sides, there's a, it's gonna smash there, it's gonna smash there, but the one back there, but where I am sitting currently blocking, it will be free. So you're paying attention to the fact that you're looking at the map and looking at that, at the, at the stars, you see? So I know to go over here because when I looked at the stars, it was gonna land on like the little dots. Same thing, there's four, three going down and there's two going left. There's no stars on the corners. So I just know, hey, stand on the corners. I like simple stuff. Now the next one, as we see they're on each corner. So I need to stand in a cross pattern on the platform. That easy, that easy, y'all smart, y'all got this. And once that's over with, we once again then cycle to the same things. That's how it works. Once you figure out what goes on, you then gotta put them all together. So the same move that we experienced the first time is happening, we all get low, we gotta deal with it. And now it's twisting again. Once again, what do we learn? Get on the corner on the other side. Visualize it turning, but visualize the corner turning. That's it, don't visualize the whole map, just the corners. Which corner is gonna be free? That's the one that I wanna go to. Okay, just find the free corner. That's all it is. I suggest you kind of save limit break for the healer because sometimes, you know, parties do wipe really, really fast. And if the healer can limit break, that's really good for you. But you don't have to. Once again, stay in the center when it's smacking down several times. That way you're not gonna die. Okay, purple, what do we learn? Purple is what? It's a block, right? It's a rectangle. We need to not get up, you're not to be over there. I'm panning the camera around to see if he activates any more portals and stuff like that. Because he's, he does start combining them all together. But as long as you know what they do and you're paying attention, you're good. That's the main thing. Just kind of be aware. Oh, be aware of what what he's casting. It's not really about, you know, how much he's casting. Just what is he casting? Rectangle there, rectangle there. And we know that the one behind us is also a rectangle. We know it's purple. I walk a little bit too early. I'm not going to lie, but I got hurt. But then the next one is, once again, a rectangle. We knew exactly what everything was just because we already knew what it was in the first place. Make it, make it simple. Once again, find the free corner. I know that that corner over there is going to be the right corner. So I sit on this corner and when it turns, I know that corner is going to be right where I am. So I know that that is free. Once again, what is that? A rectangle, right? And we just got to pay attention to what else is he going to throw? A cone? Okay, I know what I need to get back. I know I need to get over there. Okay, and then he's going to have another cone. So I know we got to stay over here. Right? Easy. Just, and then we know that there's, we got to get out the way. Easy. A little tip is usually most of the time unless it's a lingering ability, if you see it highlighted and the highlight goes away, you're safe to step in it, okay? That's something that's really crucial that I don't think a lot of players even know. Once it highlights, get out, but when it goes away and the ability is getting ready to cast, you are safe. You have to be in the initial cast before you get hit, right? Some cast really quick, some cast really slow, but if you have to move into it, wait for it to disappear and then just walk in it. You're not gonna get hit by the thing coming, I promise, unless it's a lingering ability. If, if it stays there, then you, you know. You should know. So you have people like that over there that wants to be big brained and I applaud them. Man, it's smart, but I'm not. So <laughs> I want to stick to corners. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not that good. It's not hard. It's you just, you have to just pay attention. You know, what's coming, what's coming, what's coming, what's coming. And that's why I put a little thing on me because it's way easier to notice my movements than the boss's movements. You know what I mean? And then as they slowly learn, we end up winning and uh, they'll, they'll be able to do it on their own. So I hope this helped you. Like I said, I just wanted to do a very, very simple guide. I wanted to show you my thought process. Um, I've been a mentor for a really, really long time. And when I go into these trials, I really do want to help players get better. And a lot of the times I'll see things being explained in such a complicated manner. And I'm like, as long as it doesn't wipe you, wipe me, wipe the whole entire party, it doesn't need to be explained. In my opinion, okay? I know a lot of you guys might be like, you need to explain everything. Look, I'm sorry. I just, I'm simple. So what I do is I'll go in, I'll say the simple way to do it, and we'll be out like that. Because that's all that matters. You don't need to know every single move. You don't need to know every single mechanic. As long as you know what can kill you, and as long as you know what can kill the entire party, and as long as you know how to kill the boss, you know what to do.
So if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to see more simplified versions of certain guides, let me know in the comments below what, what stages or what bosses do you guys want to see a simplified version of. And as I said before, if you guys want to help support the channel, keep the content coming out. Um, these videos do take a while to do, but you know, I really enjoy doing it for you guys. And if you guys want to help support me while I do those videos for you, I would really appreciate it. Any and all support is appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, you know what I always say. Thank you for what? Popping often. Well often. Yeah.